good timers. Thanks for joining me today in the kitchen. Why am I speaking lowly? Softly, quietly. Because the children are sleeping. <laughs> it's Sunday evening. They're getting ready to go to school. They hate Sunday. I hate Sunday. Everybody hates Sunday. I actually like Sunday. I don't hate Sunday because you can bow hunt on Sunday during the, the hunting season. So I like that about it. So I'm at the edge of a hedgerow overlooking a uh, little bridge crossing. And I have the young, delicious soybeans to my right and dried corn to my left and apples down in front of me. <laughs> it's a plethora of food for these deer. You gotta pick the things that you like about Sunday, people. Don't hate on Sundays. So today I'm going to take some ground medicine, which I love, okay? Always put it in a bowl because there's always leakage. Always. I don't know why there's leakage, but there's leakage. The packaging, there's always some leakage. I don't even know if there's a hole that it leaks out of. It just always leaks. So when you're thawing out medicine, keep it in a bowl. You won't get your wife all annoyed at you because there's blood and stuff dripping all over the refrigerator. Okay, good timer. So we're going to make Jalapeno cheese stuffed venison burger dogs. How's that sound? Delicious? Exactly. I have hot dog rolls. I don't have hamburger rolls. So I'm going to roll up my ground venison in a hot dog shape. I'm going to have it stuffed with jalapeno cheese. And my mouth is watered. And then I'm going to wrap it up in bacon and grill it. <laughs> it sounds good to me too, I know. Let's see how it turns out, shall we? I'll show you how I do it. We got our one pan of venison. We got our breadcrumbs, golden's mustard, A1 sauce, salt and pepper. We got an egg over here, jalapeno cheese, thick cut applewood bacon, doctor. Okay, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up my, actually I'm gonna cut it this way. crack an egg. Helps it hold together. Some breadcrumbs. I don't know, maybe a half a cup or more. It's going to help hold it tight for me. Little A1. Now I don't really measure things out, but I, I could do that if anybody asks. That's about two tablespoons probably. I don't want to add too much, just a little flavor. I like the mustard. Adds a little bit, so that's probably maybe two tablespoons of each. A little pepper. Just a very little salt. Half a teaspoon, maybe. I'm going to mix it in. And you just work it, work it, work it. Set that aside. I'm going to take <laughs> I'm going to make it hot dog sizes. They're going to be good sized hot dogs too. Okay. That looks good. Perfect. A lot of this you got to do by eye, people. Look at it, figure it out. It's all geometry. Boy, it smells so good too. You could start it in square and then just start rolling it a little bit. All right. So I'm saying one pound makes four beautiful venison stuffed jalapeno burger dogs. 
jalapeno cheese stuffed burger dogs. Okay. So that's perfect. Okay. So now I'm going to take my jalapeno cheese and I want to cut basically small strips. I have two slices here. Okay. So I have two slices and I'm going to double them up. Okay. Because those are going to go right in the center. All right. That's about as thick as I want it. Four slices thick. And if you have more than four slices, you just take one off and you eat it. Yum, yum, yum. Now let me show you the next step. Okay, I'm going to take a fillet knife and I'm going to slice this right down the middle and I use a fillet knife because it doesn't really mash it. I'm going to fillet that open. Okay, and I'm going to take one of my chunks, bring it in off the end Okay, bring it in off the end and push it down a little bit. And then I'm going to take a little nip because I don't want it hanging out the end right there. And then I'm going right here. And I'm squeezing her together, pinching it together, and I'm going to roll. Okay, just pinching the ends, <laughs> just like that, okay, and I'm going to do that four times. And the good thing about this is you can always work it. If it's a little flat, you round it. It's a little round, you flat it. Does that make sense? Okay. Looks like it's never been messed with or stuffed with something. Perfect. <laughs> I'm pinching where the separations were and I can work it there's the separation there now there's no separation anymore it disappears completely <music> stuffed burger dogs okay so I'm going to move these over here and I'll be right back with the bacon. Okay, so I got my bacon package open. A little layer there like that on an angle. Put him on a little bit of an angle here. Okay, I'm going to roll. Okay, got my toothpicks. I'm just going to pick it just to hold it steady till it's cooked. Okay, doctors, well, it is the next day, and we have our beautiful burger dogs, jalapeno cheese stuffed burger dogs, and I'm going to go out to the grill and grill them up for my hungry children who are just getting done soccer practice. Come, join me.
Okay guys, well, I lost my videographer. She had to go to a basketball game, so I'll show you what I'm doing. I got my burger dogs here, jalapeno stuffed, and they're nice and stiff and cold. So we're gonna set them just like so, just like so. And I did wipe that down with a little grease or oil, okay? So I always hit the grill with a little oil, just how, even with the bacon, uh, it'll help it not stick. So I could just roll them, roll them, roll them. Boy, they look beautiful, don't they? Burger dogs coming up. People, my mouth just started watering. Apologize for that. Whew, I'm excited. I'll be back in about five minutes to start rolling. Thank you, God. Thank you, dear. Okay, guys, well, it's been a couple minutes. And I always err on the side of caution with all my grilling. I would rather catch it a little bit ahead of time, making a quarter turn here. Just making a quarter turn. And I'll just roll them right along as they go. But they're looking good. They're getting there. They smell good. Can you hear it? The hissing of the bacon combining with the venison meat. It's like music. Music to my ears, doctors. It's just hissing together and beautiful deliciousness dripping on itself. So good. So I'm going to closely monitor the situation. That looks good. They all look good. Okay, that one is pretty good on that side, so I'm going to turn her there. Okay, so what I want to do is slide them off here. I'm looking at where they need it. And I'm going to turn them this way so they hold in place so I can meticulously control. Oh, there's some, oh, some of that cheese bubbling out of there. That boy's done right here. These are just a little heavier. But they're done for me, I'll tell you that for sure. Oh yeah. Just give it one more minute. I'll come over and check these bad boys out. I like the little cheese coming out of there. Perfect. Okay. So these tongs are perfect because they fit right inside there. I'll come right over here. Then there. And that beast is the last beast coming off. Come to me, share the beauty that you never perfect. have seen. We'll start a fire and we'll drink some wine. Can you think of a better way to spend your time? Okay. I got rolls. You're gonna want one, right too, Doctor? Mm -hmm. Okay. 
Come with me among the evergreen Wade your ankles in the cold blue stream I tug on the line and you know it's all good Finally living life like the way you should So what I like to do real quick is 10 seconds I'm like anal that way 10 seconds I like my like my roll nice and soft warm. We use a potato roll for the hot dogs. And, and we, we also use potato rolls for that. My mouth is watering and I apologize. We use them for the jalapeno cheese stuffed. Don't forget to take out the jalapeno stuffed. <laughs> Look at Max. Does Max like them too? Ready? that okay and there's the jalapeno cheese cooked perfectly that'll give you another view of that how's that look <laughs> is it good okay so I will just take one small bite just to see mm hmm oh wow the cheese is mmm a little pop, a jalapeno pop, all, it'll pop right on you. And that big, the big, I'm sorry, I'm starting to get giddy here, sorry. I know, your mouth is watering too. It's understandable. So, guys, I would do this if I were you. If you have venison, and jalapeno cheese, and bacon, and an egg, and some breadcrumbs, and some A1 sauce, and some spicy brown mustard. I would turn it into this because it's really, really beautiful. And you can see the cheese in there just popping right in your mouth as, you, as soon as you open it. If you like what you see here, please hit the like button. I always love it when you hit the like button. You can hit the dislike button, but I don't really like that as much. And share it with your friends, and subscribe to the channel because i got a lot of recipes. Just like this one, Doctor. And...